So how is it that some musicians get a lot of high paying, high profile work and gigs while others are stuck doing the typical $100 gigs and are essentially broke? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly why some musicians make high six figures and how you can too. Hey, and welcome to Music Space, where we help working musicians just like you learn how to quickly and easily make a living with your craft. So if you're new here to the channel, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when new videos are uploaded. So looking out at the landscape of musicians and artists and bands and those who are in this industry, no matter which genre, you will see a sort of discrepancy between those who seem to get all of the good high paying gigs and those who typically just have to work the smaller paying gigs and don't get that high profile stuff. And if you're one of those musicians or artists or bands on this side, for whatever reason, and you don't typically get a lot of high paying gigs and high profile work, you may look at the other side of the people who do or the other side of this thing with the people who do and the bands and artists who do and you know, wonder is there some sort of secret involved? Like what is it that they do or what is it that they know that you don't? Well, I'm here to tell you, the answer is actually yes, there is some secrets involved. But as is the case with a lot of secrets, they're really kind of simple and some of them are really just right there in front of your face and not so secret, you just haven't been taking advantage of them. And that gets us into one reason why a lot of bands, musicians and artists are able to make lots of money in high six figures and that's because they have something that is their thing. They have something that is unique about them. And when I say unique, I don't mean different because you can do some of the same things and have your own unique approach to it. So a lot of it has to do with the approach when it comes to uniqueness. And an example of this that comes to mind is a female drummer that's really popular that goes by the name Pocket Queen. Now, she is a really great drummer. She is great at what she does. But to be honest, she's not doing any sort of drumming that nobody has ever done before. That's not where she's being different or unique. She has just taken this concept, this whole Pocket Queen concept, and that is her thing, that is her shtick, that's her uniqueness, and it works for her. And again, if you look out on the landscape of musicians and you see those musicians, bands, and artists who are getting a lot of that high profile work, you can kind of look at them and tell that they've kind of made something or that they have something that is their thing. Like, yes, they perform the same cover tunes as every other band that's out there, but they just have a unique spin on it. It's just something that's about them that's a little bit different. So having and developing your own thing is something that absolutely contributes to being successful in this industry. And another thing about these artists and bands and musicians that do a lot of this high profile work and make lots of money, they're consistent. And what I mean by this is they do their thing and they do it over and over and over and over again. Like whatever their thing is, whatever their shtick is, like I talked about in the last thing, they take that thing and they do it over and over and they perfect it and they build sort of their band, their artistry around it. What they don't do is set out or, you know, make these attempts to be somebody or something that they're not. And that's what happens with a lot of us musicians, bands and artists nowadays. We're trying to, again, be something we're not. We're we're not even taking the time to find our own identity and our own uniqueness as artists and musicians. So not only have these musicians that do a lot of this high profile work come up with their thing, they've perfected it and they do it consistently over and over again. And another thing that a lot of these high paid musicians do, and this one may be my favorite, is they handle business really well. I've said this so many times in prior videos that I'm starting to feel like a broken record, but there's no doubt that the way that you handle business, the way that you conduct your business with people will take you a very, very long way. You have got to become business savvy, at least to some extent. This is sort of a defining characteristic of those who make a lot of money. Like you kind of just assume that successful people know business well. 
And there is some truth to that. So how that works for you is things like deposits and contracts have to become second nature. Even the way that you communicate with people when they ask you to do gigs, that kind of stuff says a lot about you and it tells people what you're worth. Like it almost sets a standard. Like if you imagine a conversation with somebody that, you know, a high profile person asks you to do a gig and you're just like, oh, well, yeah, we have a, you know, three, four piece band and we can show up and you know, whatever it is you like kind of thing versus they ask you to do a gig and your communication is like, look, this is our process. This is our deposit amount. This is our contract. This is what we're going to do when we show up. This is what we're going to bring. We're going to be on time. We're going to, that kind of sets a different precedent than, you know, the other thing of you just kind of being unsure of yourself. So communication goes a long way in business. But what I also mean about handling business well, is they do things like work on their business on a regular and mostly on a daily basis. Something else I've said a lot in prior videos is that a lot of us musicians and artists just tend to sit around and wait for that, you know, call for, hey, are you free on Friday night or are you free on Saturday night to play at such and such place kind of thing. And it's usually those kind of people and those kind of musicians that are not successful. And it, those are definitely not the musicians that are in this high profile area and getting all of this good money. So handling business well is something that a lot of these high paid musicians do. Now, another thing they do is they build powerful networks. It's no question, like absolutely no question that who you know and who you associate with plays a huge role in success. And those musicians and artists and bands in that arena of making that type of money, that six figure type of money, they have substantial networks that they've built. Now, what I mean by this is I'm not necessarily talking about like a huge number of people. It could just be a small group of people, but they're connected to the right people. And the way that they've done that is that they've reached out. They've handled business well. You know, they've made connections. They've made friends. They rub shoulders and, you know, been in communication with people in the industry. Like you have to be making attempts to get in good with a lot of people in the industry, other people that are connected, like wedding planners, wedding organizers, like you should be making some serious attempts to connect with these type of people, the conference organizers and the fortune 500 company, you know, planners when they plan their holiday parties and things like that, you should be making attempts to build networks with these people in it. And don't hear me wrong, it's not that these people are necessarily just gonna give you a handout, but you put yourself in the arena to where when opportunities are being passed out and somebody needs a band, an artist, a musician, they can say, hey, oh, I just connected with you, this person last week, I got this business card, I got this email, I got this phone call from this person, let me check them out. And this principle is not limited to like the Fortune 500 companies and the festival organizers and things like that. If your preference is to do clubs and things like that, this applies to those too. Like how many club people and club owners and bar owners in your area are you connected with? How many of them are in your network of people where, you know, not only you can pitch yourself, but when they're looking for a band and say you're not available, you can help them out and say, hey, check out this band and, you know, go check out this artist or whatever. And that builds a relationship. You see how that works? So it's absolutely the case that a lot of these musicians who are making that type of money, the six figure type of money, they have substantial networks. Now concerning good business practices, I've done several videos on how to do that and how you can set those up and you can check those out here. 